In this video, I'm going to be discussing the fill mask black and fill mask white buttons in image extract. These are very basic. These are just meant to fill the mask area with white or black, just as they say. But let's just do a quick demo here. So in this image, there's a softball that needs recovered. I'm going to try the object selection tool here. That looks okay, but I think it missed part of it. So let's go to the quick select tool and add to that selection. It looks pretty good for the demonstration. So if you use the um, fill mask white button, it's just going to fill whatever area that you have selected in the mask with white. So that recovered the softball. And if you remember that, um, a layer mask, the white areas are the areas you see, the black areas are the transparent areas. And so you see that quickly recovered that softball. Okay, now on this image, we've got an area in the shoe here that we're going to erase. Let's try the magic wand just to see what happens. Not going to get too picky for this demonstration. Actually, I lied. I'm actually getting a little more picky than I probably should. In any case, um, let's just demonstrate now this. Um, select mask black or excuse me fill mask black and you see that just filled the mask with black so if i undo that you'll be able to see that the fill mask black area all it did was was fill that black to make that area transparent In a way, really nothing to these buttons. They do exactly what they say, but it's just it's just handy so you don't have to select the mask and then go edit fill black or use the keyboard shortcuts. This will automatically do all that for you. It selects it and then fills it. So anyways, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.